So this is uh, future me, being now me, being beginning me. So, bit of a, well it's been a mental week, absolutely mental week and a short week as well with bank holiday and all the other good stuff. So, just been mad flat out, they're busy so you'll probably get random all sorts in there, diggers being loaded, um, lawn mowers being lawn mowed, well it's not quite a lawn mower, it's big John Deere, but yeah so, not a lot really I can tell you this week other than it's just been manic. Loads of stuff in, loads of stuff out. We'll recap right at the end. See you in a bit. So it's um, Bank Holiday Monday afternoon. Trailer's out again. Need to chuck in the Maserati Quattroporte. It's got to go on the trailer. Going to Sheffield. I'm going to put my plates on it. Go get some fuel in it load it up when I get back so a bit of a hectic day tomorrow take that down to um, take it to Sheffield also got to collect Triumph Daytona a KTM Super Duke GT and a Triumph Explorer so that's the job tomorrow so let me get the car out get sorted and uh, keep you posted either show you some loading up I think you might have seen enough of that or or maybe I'll just catch you tomorrow. We'll see. See how I feel. See you in a bit. So it's um, Bank Holiday Monday afternoon. Trailer's out again. Need to chuck in the Maserati Quattroporte. It's got to go on the trailer. Going to Sheffield. I'm going to put my plates on it. Go get some fuel in it. I'll load it up. When I get back, so a bit of a hectic day tomorrow. Take that down to um, take it to Sheffield. Also, got to collect Triumph Daytona, a KTM Super Duke GT, and a Triumph Explorer. So that's the job tomorrow. So let me get the car out, get sorted, and uh, keep you posted. Either show you some loading up. I think you might have seen enough of that, or. Or maybe I'll just catch you tomorrow. We'll see. See how I feel. See you in a bit. So, she's on. Another quick safety check. The trailer never come off from last week, to be fair. Plates are on it and everything. Running lovely. Well, I say lovely, a bit lumpy bumpy. That's why we're going to get her looked at. So, hooked up. Ha ha, emergency cable. There's always something, isn't there? There is always something. So, that's your emergency cable. That's on. Lights are on. Jockey wheels up. Hang on. Need to put the uh, pin in the jockey wheel as well, otherwise that'll be trailing down the M180. And you'll know how much I love that. Not at all. So that's in. That's on. Car's on. Keys are in the car. She starts up well, so we're no bother with any of that. Put a load of fuel in it. Just trim it up the road, put some fuel in. Um, good to go. So, seven in the morning, ish, half seven. Whip through to Sheffield, try and be in Lincoln for mid morning. So, here we go. Morning folks, Maz is going to Sheffield 
bit of a change of plan. Was going to be there first thing, and then go into Lincoln, collect some bikes from there. But I'm going to do it the other way around because the chap who uh, were buying a Triumph Daytona off, uh, he can only do mid morning this morning, and there's no way I'm going to get Sheffield and back before um, mid morning. So the plan is we'll go to him first. He's got to make his way from Newark to Horncastle, and then once. Uh, I've done that. I shall pop across to Webs. Where I've got a couple of bikes there as well. A couple of a Triumph and a KTM, I think. So let's get on the road. Let's go to Horncastle. Speaking a bit, that's the easiest way, isn't it? Daytona uh, collected. And you can see it was a bit of a trip there. We've gone all the way down. So there was loads of room to turn down at the bottom. And uh, well, there kind of was, but not ideal room. But anyway, we've done it. We've managed it. So unfortunately, that's um, the chap had passed away. And he bought that bike, paid a fortune just before he passed away, and um, never used it. So we now have it here. Triumph Daytona 595. With just 8,000 miles on it, so what an absolute beauty. That's it then, on to Lincoln, and then on to Sheffield. Explorer 1215, 2016 bike, Daytona 8K, awesome KTM Super Duke GT, all tucked in, all miles of space between them, so we're all happy. Trailer's back on, all connected up, Sheffield, here we come. Let's go and get uh, go and get the Mazda dropped off. One thirty-two. We're getting there. Happy days. Let's go. So that's the uh, Mazda dropped off. Let me guys who do that sort of thing. I'm going to try and get out of here without hitting anything expensive, which is, looks more of a challenge than ever could be. Right, catch you in a bit. Yesterday, should have done, but mad busy. Caddy is now wearing all its four new boots. Look at that. So, you know, let me know if you think I'm mental going to the south of Spain in it, but it's what we're kind of day by day committing to um, so we've got those boots on it yesterday brilliant discovered it needs a cv joint um what do we call it boot cv boot i'm calling the tires boots anyway it's cv boot and it wants brake pads bit of a rattling coming from the rear end and the springs have gone in the brake pad retainers so got those on order cheap as chips they're on the way get those fitted next week and then last night also bought absolutely wonderful and i mean wonderful gen 3 trans amp 1991 in white um probably one of the nicest ones i've ever seen so that's on its way picking that up i think saturday morning get there get it back before charlie gets his new hat on monkey going for a quick spin because obviously that's doing a bit of a trek too i want my way to work mot a couple of bikes ready for delivery tomorrow speak to you in a bit Anyway, 
to bed then uh, I feel like a man who's done really well because I'm outstanding in my field there you go boom boom right that off the trailer and digger on the trailer 
ready to go out for the morning. So that's the next job. On we go. Well, it always starts raining, but I'm going to start loading. Beyond digger there, dumper off that, digger on that, jobs are good in. Right, it's on with it. So that's that, all loaded up. There you go, the Bobcat, Ace Machine. Um, one of them zero turn things. So basically, you ain't got the back end hanging out and ruining your date. So a bit of lubrication on my shackles, my tie downs. I'll strap that one up in a minute. And then in the morning, we're going down to, not too far away, Young lad is spot on, um, builder, needs this for a bit of drainage tomorrow, just for the day, so all's good, get that down to him, and then we'll crack on with what else is on with the rest of the day, which I've got absolutely no idea, I can't remember, oh, deliver a GSA to fairly local, so yeah, let's get on with that, see that, that's a happy smiling face, why, look, why wouldn't I be happy and smiling, so we just picked this up this morning, Trans Am, 5 litre, V8, T-top, piece of awesomeness. Look, doors open. How rubbish is that? Why wouldn't you be happy with that? 5 litre V8, hello Kimmy. Security dogs, liking it as well. T-tops, it's covered in dust, done nothing with it. Should have took my camera with me, shouldn't have when I bought it, never mind. Anyway, she's back now. It's here. Let's have a little make a noise, shall we? Oh, keys in. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Oh. Try and start again. beautiful so I'm off in to watch the coronation we'll get this cleaned up later and uh, probably cruise about in it a bit get a proper video maybe enjoy it a little bit what a car so we're at the end now after a busy week it's a Sunday we watched King's coronation yesterday and uh, yeah that was something to behold but also yesterday we had this coming you've seen kind of what's been going on this week but not everything i just pull mental absolutely mental so forget my camera half the time which doesn't help does it should use my phone but anyway that come in yesterday morning but you'll have seen that the f250 well she's still ongoing we're just waiting on parts again separate video for that bad boy but this one we're dead chuffed with this and why wouldn't you be? 1991 Trans Am, in lovely order. It's got all the um, bits that you wouldn't normally find as well. You know, the sunshades for the T-tops, T-top bags, all that good stuff, all original, just lovely. Um, the old caddy, well, I said to you before, you need to, uh, you need to tell me if I'm crackers or not, because this old caddy, uh, I'm kind of getting it ready to go to Spain. Yeah, I know. So right now, we are in a position where I've taken all the water out of the engine. Still a little bit more to get out, to be fair. And we're putting the old waterless cooling in there. Got a new set of boots on it. We've got new brake pads coming. And then, well, I don't know what else we can do, really. Oil and filter change, maybe. 
but there's not a lot we can really do to this car before we set off we might be half parking um and i probably am but what's new there um so that's that on the, on that side um a couple of little sniggy snaggies this week with the peugeot moped came back from scotland gary's supposed to have fixed it and guess what they had a 10 pound piece it cost us in the best part of it works out at least works out about 850 quid on couriers and bits and pieces to get it back which is really 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 annoying um chap who had the bike um he's well oh, i can have it back no we're not sending it back up to scotland again and we're gonna have to rethink well it's not just scotland it's right out in the outskirts and we're gonna have to rethink how we go about um sending stuff up there because yeah it's been a bit of a been a bit of a problem for everybody so so that's that um what else not a lot really a few bikes in ktm the triumph you've seen those um that triumph um 595 what a bike what a bike you'll see that no doubt shortly it'll be listed on the website but that is an absolute beauty so a bit of tidying up in here to do because tomorrow uh, a few of the lads coming round who are going to go on the um, monkey bike trip who are headed to we're going to do a lap of ireland taking in scotland and wales monkey's sort of getting ready look got some plans for some racks and bits and pieces so we're a bit of tidy up in here so the boys can have a a bit of a uh, a beer and a, and a conflab and then uh, yeah see what we're going to do about going to ireland it's going to be absolutely mental that i'm really looking forward to it it's not just a monkey bike tricks one two fives take that back that little beastie in the corner with a chap from barry south wales interested in it I don't know if it'll go in my van or not. If it will, happy days. If not, the Enfield Bobber, she's gone. Enfield Bobber is going to Wrexham on Wednesday. So it's been a bit of a productive week, really. But that little Peugeot's put a little bit of a sour on it as well. So, hey yo, well, that's life, isn't it? So get on, cut the grass mat, get this edited, and then uh, look forward to tomorrow. God save the king and uh, ask your missus first. See you later.